Hey, hi there Aquarius. Welcome to my channel. I'd like to thank you for tuning in to those energies and influences that are coming through for your weekly reading, September 15th to the 21st of 2019. Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, this is a condensed general reading. Please only take those portions that resonate with you. Okay, Aquarius, off camera to save time, I've done a protective blessing. I've meditated over and shuffled these cards just for you. Your first card, it's the general atmosphere. It's the background and the basis of the matter. Number nine of the Major Arcana in the Rider weight deck, the Hermit. This can be a Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Doesn't have to be though. This is a card that always slows the reading up a little bit. This has to do with introspection and inner guidance, a wisdom being offered. This is silent counsel and discretion. Receiving wisdom from above. It could also be receiving instructions from an expert in your field. Or it could be a meeting with someone who will guide you on the path to material or spiritual ends. This card represents attainment of goals and seeking meaning. The hermit withdraws from the world in order to find wisdom. And isolation allows the mind to look inwards. This is a shift of attention away from people towards examination of yourself and of your life. You're seeking solutions on your own. This is, could be in a different direction than you originally thought. You may find out something quite substantial. This is being up in your head, self-examination, soul-searching. The answers are deep within your soul. This is the hermit waiting patiently for you to turn to him for advice. He has knowledge. You may be aware of his influence, but you're ignoring it. Or you may be looking for guidance from the invisible world. You may be isolating yourself in some way, seeking solitude, wisdom, and inner peace. You want to gain perspective on your life, and you're open to the inner guidance that's available to you. It's a time for soul-searching and meditation, the need for patience, and the time to work things out quietly. You'll need to clear your mind of the external hurly-burly to allow time and space. Your second card. This is the energy that's crossing over your path. It can be a challenge. The Seven of Pentacles, Aquarius. Earth energy. This is, a, again, some needed time for patience. It's looking back and thinking about whether you're on the right path. You've put a lot of time and effort into your project. Could be a break. The harvest still still yet to come. This is someone's Saturn in Taurus. This is aiming for the long-term growth and not instant rewards. You're still waiting for success. It's pause and assessment. This is not failing, but learning. But it's questioning your standpoint. You could be looking from a different perspective. It could be a difficult decision between security and risk. It's the completion of a phase, reevaluating, being concerned, impatient for results. You're second guessing your efforts. You're taking stock of your progress. You're learning from feedback. This is continuing practicing because consistency breeds growth. Your third card. This is how it affects you. This could be your attitude. Number one of the Major Arcana in the Rider Waite deck, the Magician. This can be an Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. This is a faster energy. It has to do with creative power, our intention. It's a masculine energy card. The ruling planet is Mercury. This is being staying focused on your goals. It's taking on challenges. This is someone that draws power from above to materialize their desires. That cosmic lemonscape, the sideways figure eight, that's a symbol of eternal life and domination, indicating the harmonious interaction of the conscious and the subconscious, idea and feeling, desire and emotion. You'll need to remain conscious of your thoughts because you can make things happen. This is new opportunities, 
potential and abundance, an important beginning. You'll need to work to achieve your goal. This is practical action. Changes, new starts. It's favorable for work. It's new choices. It's something exciting about to start. This is a card of self-employment. And you have control over the environment. And you have the power and influence over what is going on in your life. This is willpower and intelligence and your skill in action. The Hermit with the Magician, this is a very strong mind. This is someone that's able to think of several things at one time. The Hermit with the Seven of Pentacles, this is a, a need to evolve in peace and let everything fall into place and keep your eyes open for a lesson. Here's your fourth card. It's the position of the future. It's the outcome, the results, and the advice. The Two of Pentacles, Aquarius. More Earth energy here. This is juggling your finances. And you have the ability and the skill to achieve success. This is the ability to juggle two situations at one time. Changes, multitasking, trying to balance. Your concentration is required. It has to do with material concerns. This is someone's Jupiter in Capricorn. There's harmony in the midst of change, good fortune and enjoyment. This could be a message coming about money. Better times do lie ahead. This is adapting to those changes. It's dealing with a lot with ease. And there's a need to be flexible. So go with the flow. Handle those ups and downs of life. You might need to follow the money. Or you may need to travel or even move house to take advantage of material opportunities. This is a shift in life's focus. It's new facts and new results that come to the foreground and present you with a new perspective. You need and you do find new results. Your fifth card. It's the bottom of the deck card. The underlying issue. This is what's unseen. The Nine of Swords, Aquarius. Worries. This is a high stress card. Worrying over money. This is low energy. It's anxiety. And again, a need to be patient. This can be preoccupation with past experiences. So you'll need to talk about the problems that you bury. Speak up to solve these problems, or it brings regrets and nightmares. And you'll wake up in the middle of the night and not be able to get back to sleep because of all the thoughts racing in your mind. This is someone's Mars in Gemini. Mars also represents tower in Gemini. This is wisdom and strength gained through experience. This is someone that's having trouble sleeping because of the worries could be about your health but worrying is pointless unless it drives you to take action so confront your worries and fears and take steps to solve your problems talk to someone write in a journal see a doctor if you continue to doubt and fear they will continue to haunt you this is that high stress card you might be having feelings of guilt regarding a past transgression Often, the fear of difficulties is far worse than the reality. The fear is worse than the outcome. So put two and two together, and look at contradictions around you, and strengthen your resolve and your patience, and try not to feel so down by the temporary blockages or difficulties. Here's your advice from the Oracle deck. Ask your guides by Sonia Choquette. It's discipline. Card number 33, Master Teacher, Discipline. Has to do with dedication, training, work, and skills. Whatever you desire in life can be created, but only if you're willing to do the necessary work. Uh, this, that's what the magician tells us. This means no shortcuts, no bypasses, and no free lunches. The only path to success is discipline and consistency. Fortunately, your master teacher is present, helping you develop a heartfelt and mature work, ethic, mature work ethic by getting organized and becoming practical in your approach to achieving your goals. Examine your heart and be willing to do what it tells you, whatever it takes to reach your aims. If you don't know what you must do, then learn. Seek out the help of mentors and guides who specialize in your field of interest. And there's the hermit. Study and learn with an open heart and mind and set your standards high. 
Your master teacher reminds you, mastery in any area only comes from demanding nothing less than the very best from yourself. Thanks, you guys, Aquarius. I hope you stay tuned in by leaving me a comment or a thumbs up, and please subscribe. Now remember, what goes around comes around, so I'm sending you out love and light and blessings. Thanks for watching.